Good morning. Yesterday was a crazy day. I've worked, I think, till midnight. I wanted to give the, the studio a fresh look, let's say a cleaner look. So I've added a fresh layer of paint. I'm not a handyman myself, so <laughs> that took me ages. Now the studio is empty. I only have the speakers covered. I think my uh, paint job is amazing. <laughs> the plan for the day is to do some uh, light cable management. I have some uh, cable covers that I want to run on the floor. I also want to add LED strips. I have a bunch of those. I want to add the LED strips on the clouds, get back the acoustic panels on the walls and fix this uh, issue that I have here. It's not a big issue, but as you can see in the lower side of the base trap, I have a gap. That's because there I have the power outlet. I also have to change the power outlet, but I have to call in a professional. The Zauer desk arrived yesterday, so I will try and get those packages in. For the moment, this is it. Get to work. Let me show you what I plan using for some uh, cable management. A bunch of these guys, and I want to run cables through them. As you can see behind me, I already have the acoustic panels back on. I showcased the system that I used to, to have them uh, on the wall. Another thing that I've uh, already done, mounting this uh, piece of plastic on uh, top. I'm doing it because I want to add an LED strip all around the panels and I want a really nice diffuse light i don't want to see the led strip and that's the system that i'm using to to hide the strip it's not perfect at the moment you can see i have some uh, gaps but this will uh, change once i have the led installed that's what i'm gonna do next as far as led strips goes i'm using e-light it's a cheaper alternative to Philips Hue. Previously I had a single LED strip in uh, the studio behind the, the desk and I was happy with that and I decided to go with the same strips. I have two main strips and I think I have 10 extensions. When it comes to LED strips I like Philips Hue but the problem with that is if you want a bigger setup you have to pay a crazy amount and uh, I think it's uh, not worth it. The e-light strip works with Google Assistant, Apple HomeKit, and Amazon Alexa. In the box, we have the, the LED strip. The, the base is two meters and the extension one meter. You can go up to 10 meters, I think. Let me mount it and I will show you how it looks. I've managed to install all the, the LED strips. 
I think the results are looking really nice. The, the great thing about the e light uh, LED strips is that you can control them via the app. I can change the color, I can change everything. Let me show you how it looks. So we have an LED strip behind the cloud. Since I don't have any power outlets, the workaround that I did is I've added a cable and it's just a power cord extender that goes through there and I have power behind the cloud. Then we have the front panel and the right one. I really like how the, the studio looks. Now the power is really, really good. I can work in just this uh, light without any issues. It will create a great ambience. This is something that I really missed on my previous setup. I just didn't enjoy that much working in the crowded space with cables and everything. At the moment, I still have the cables hanging from um, the LED strips, I will find a solution to hide those. Like I've said in the beginning, I just don't want any cables showing. Hide all the cables. Right now, I think I have the, the main cables, the main issues with, uh, with the cables sorted out. So I have the, the power outlet here in the corner. This is where I will probably place some sort of, I don't know, shelf or something similar just to hide those cables. I think that painting the, the corners, the base traps white was a really nice idea, but I need to paint the corners here too. Okay, so it's close to midnight. I think I'm done for the day. Really happy with how everything looks. I'm tired as fuck, but it's all worth it. Because it's the end of the day, I wanna show you the progress. As you can see, I have replaced the soft box with two Elgato lights. I have two more. These lights are pretty small and as you can see they are really powerful and as a bonus you can control them via the app if you want i can have a full video on uh, the setup you can see that i have the app you can turn them off turn them on by color change the intensity and this is really great because that big softbox was taking a lot of space. I know that the bigger the softbox, the softer the light, but I think the, the Elgato lights will do just fine. And this looks so much cleaner than that big nasty softbox. Another thing that I've added, two diffusers in the back. The old handmade diffusers were looking let's call it vintage. I didn't uh, like the, the look that much, so I've replaced them. The new ones are a bit smaller, but I think they will do just fine. I also got a bookshelf. This is going to help me immensely with cable management. That's because I have a lot of things like the router, the Google uh, Bluetooth uh, speaker, cameras and things like that that will stay on that uh, bookshelf. It's a really nice addition. You can see that I've drilled some holes. The cables are going in the back of the bookshelf. I've also added the, the billboard plaque that I have. One thing that I really enjoy are the LED strips. If I turn off the Elgato key lights, I still have a lot of things to do. Tomorrow I will probably uh, get the Zaur desk in the studio, start adding the gear back. Another idea that I have is to create like a small video rig on this bookshelf. I have a couple of clamps just like this one with a screw at the end and I can attach the camera. I will have to secure 
this bookshelf from the, the wall behind and I can add the camera, I can add a light, I can shoot videos without a problem from that angle. I will probably take a shower and crash. I will see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.